How's it going, sixth graders? Over the last two weeks, you have been building up all the tools you need to jump into a very important day today, where you will start to plan your final project for our Experts Expo on January 23rd. Now, sixth graders, the five types of info writing that we've been working so hard on are the tools that you will be using as you create your own book or your own YouTube video to teach others about a topic that you've become an expert on. Sixth graders, the first step that writers take when they're about to start on a new project is create a plan. And one way to do that, especially with information writing, is to organize your table of contents. To ask yourself, how and in what order can I teach this topic best? Now, the awesome thing about writing is there's always way more than one way to do it. So I wanted to show you a few different ways and include a couple of ways that I've actually changed my own table of contents as I've researched and then set you off on your own to work on this during work time. So the first thing I want to share with you is that um, students in the past have done this in a lot of different ways. Uh, I was pulling out some old table of contents from the past, and what I noticed as I looked at them was that some writers chose to organize their topic, their table of contents, with questions like, where do goldfish live? Or, what do goldfish eat? This could be one way that you decide to organize your own table of contents. Another way that I noticed that writers in the past have organize their table of contents is by thinking in terms of our five W words and uh, of course our how. Um, and the way they did that was, for example, this person was um, researching all about YouTube and so they talked about it uh, in terms of these five W words. What is YouTube? How to use YouTube? What to do on YouTube? Where to go on where to get YouTube, excuse me. Same thing with a topic totally different, like bears. You can see that all of these have kind of structured their table of contents. Now, these are questions and uh, who, what, where, when, why, how are two ways. Now, your topic might also make you think in parts, like um, this person who wrote about basketball how to play, or different plays, how to set a pick and roll, shooting, blocking, passing. All these are different skills or parts of basketball. So whether it's through parts, or who, what, where, when, why, or through questions, so many stickies, so little time. Any of these ways could work for you and honestly, trying it more than one way might tell you which one works best for you. Um, for me, I had to try it a couple different ways. Um, the first place I started, and the place I would recommend you starting, is on your blue sheet. Now, this is a little blurry, okay? But you remember that I'm writing about um, weird animals. So my starting point was just listing these eight animals, just like I did at the beginning, okay? But my research had changed me a little bit. Um, my research had kind of taken me in a new direction, and I saw that I could definitely still organize it by subtopic like I had before, but I could also switch it up. Especially after learning about our five types of information writing, I realized that um, my animals could be broken up into different ways. Um, so if you can read this, it says, uh, my first chapter is still about eels, but it's all about eels. The second one after learning about hip, hippos and moose, I wanted to write about who is tougher because I thought that might be interesting for a reader. So who is tougher, hippo or moose, than flying blind? I was really, really interested in bats' echolocation, how they solve the problem of not having very good eyesight. Then I learned about vultures, and I learned that the big thing about vultures is that they eat dead animals. So I thought maybe it'd be interesting to my reader if I really just talked about how vultures eat dead animals. And then my last chapter um, 
was kind of a sad one because I read about pandas and I know that they can they are um, an endangered species or a species that's been hunted and, and uh, brought down to just a few pandas. So I wanted to leave my reader with a question. What if all the pandas died? So Sixth what I was realizing is that when I reorganized these uh, these uh, chapters, I was actually talking in terms of our five types of information writing. Um, so when I was talking about all about eels, I was really telling everything I know about eels, which we remember is description. Then um, when I was writing about who is tougher, hippos versus moose, I realized that what I was really getting at was compare, comparing and contrasting hippos and moose. Now, when it came to uh, flying blind, the problem was that bats don't have very good eyesight, but they actually also solved it. So that would be my problem and solution uh, paragraph, or excuse me, chapter. Then, how vultures eat dead animals is actually just a process. And we know that when we talk about history and processes, we're going to talk in sequence, excuse me, in sequence, which is to tell things in the right order. Then finally, what if all pandas die? If all pandas die, that would be a cause. And the effects that came from it would be what I'll be reporting on. So as you can see, writers, I've actually created a table of contents that includes all five types of information writing. Now, your topic might not work for every information writing, but one decision you're going to make after you decide on your table of contents is which type of information writing is this? In each of these boxes, make sure that you label it. This will help you to plan and design each of these pages to include information that will excite your reader. So, your steps for today. Using your research, and I've just got my blue sheet, which you've got all of your research all put together. Using your research, create a table of contents that, that makes sense, not only the order, but also um, <coughs> covers all the things that you've been learning about. Then decide which type of information writing will I be writing when I write each of these table of contents. If you're able to get through all of this today, feel free to go and start um, flash drafting one of the chapters of your choice. It doesn't have to go in order. Choose one that you feel like you can write strongly uh, right away. All right, writers, excited to see how you teach others about the stuff that you've become so passionate about. Happy writing.